first tee shot has been troublesome for Tiger in the past. Yeah, a little troublesome here too. Now it's early, but Tiger shot at the Grand Slam this year off to kind of a rough start. He double bogeyed that first hole right there at the PGA Championship, which by the way, this year is the second major of the year. He's tied for 40th right now. And as we speak, fellow American Brooks Kopka has the lead at four under. We will continue to monitor. Bucks have a one point lead. Two minutes to play. Four quarters. Lopez for three. Yes! He has been on fire in every phase of the game. <laughs> no one, no one said going into this series, watch out for Brooke Lopez. The Brooke Lopez, who averages just 10 points a game this postseason. But in a tight game at home, he's the guy that took over. Bucks teammate and superstar Giannis Adetokounmpo said, quote, this is the Brooke we all know and love. We just want him to be aggressive, especially in this series. Lopez scored 29 points, grabbed 11 rebounds. The Bucks trailed Toronto going into the fourth quarter, but then outscored the Raptors 32-17 in that final period. In fact, the only Raptor to score at all for a field, goal, a field goal in the fourth was Kyle Lowry. Yes, Kyle Lowry. As for Adetokounmpo, the Greek freak scored uh, 24 points and 14 boards to help Lopez. Brooke described his team's effort saying, quote, we keep hounding, keep hounding, keep hounding and grinding, and then we finally got there. Game two coming up on Friday. A perfect game in high school softball. This one happened in New York. Shannon Becker struck out 21 batters, and she did it with just 83 pitches. Yikes. And then get this, she struck out 20 batters in another game just two days before that one. She's pretty good, don't you guys think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah she's pretty, pretty good. good. Uh, she's only a sophomore. It's the first 21 strikeout perfect game in New York high school softball history. Uh, we hear the cliche all the time in sports, right? Well, that guy just wanted it more. And most of the time, there is no way to measure that or even prove if that's true. But in this case, it's Grant and Tucker, 1-2 A&M. They both threw the 10th hurdle without a problem. It's going to be Tucker. Yes, he dives for the tape. He was Do you like that? He goes full Superman. Counts, counts. So that's Infinite Tucker. Yes, that, that's his real name, Infinite Tucker. <laughs> Let's take it one more time as he dives across the finish line to beat his teammate, that's Robert Grant in the SEC Track and Field Championship. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Pay the price for that, though. Yeah, you yeah. stay down just for a, a couple of oh. seconds there. Uh, A&M finishes first and second in the 400 meter hurdle. Nice name. <laughs> his coach, by the way, swears that you can't make up any time by jumping like that. But he said, <laughs> but, but Infinite just never listens to him. It, it may have worked, it may not have worked, but somehow he got past the finish line first. So. And when asked how fall. he felt about his victory, he said, ow. Yeah. <laughs> that was a face flat, yeah, man. Yeah. A little he went slide. for it, man. Yeah. You gave it it all. He's all in? Yep. All right, thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Let's take a look at a hot spot, guys, out to the west side, the H1 freeway. We got brake lights here in Cunia, but it's even busier after Merge, pushing up our drive times. We'll take a look at those coming up next.